Welcome back to Let's Play Median XL, a Diablo 2 mod. Uh, I have a, the screen changed a little bit. I have the website up where I can look at the items because we might be crafting a few things. Uh, not right now, as some of this stuff requires a lot, but uh, I'd like to replace my gloves uh, with some. I, I was looking up the different things. Actually, let's just show this off now. So, this is the, their site, and it shows every single tier unique and all the sacred uniques, all the set items. We really just want to look at really basic stuff. So, like, we need a good pair of gloves. And you look here, this is great for us. It increases poison spell damage, increases poison skill duration, and it has a chance to get add plus one to all skills later. Uh, so, I like those. And for a belt... I was thinking of getting a moon wrap. Cast speed, fire damage, either moon wrap or this one. This one gives uh, defense, a lot more defense. It gets cast speed and it's going to increase our damages, but not poison. Moon wrap, however, increases spell damage flat and it's got a little resist and increases cast speed. So I don't know yet. I don't know. But we're gonna go back and murder people. And Dariel, I'm coming for you. Oh yeah, I have that weird hat. That sort of thing. What kind of hat do I want? I don't know. Let's check it out. Not top spin, not lava dome. Also look at there's druid helms. Let's look at the druid helps for casting. The wolf hat is probably not for casting. Yeah, earth song increases all the damages and gives resistances and cast speed and mana after each kill. So we gotta look for a hawk helm to drop. Cause I'd like to get rid of this random movement speed. Fun crap. All right, let me just make sure I have, that's hunting banshee, okay. Whee! There's vampires. I don't like this this seed. Ooh, desktop volume's a bit too high, my bad. There we go. Yay, we leveled! Sorry, now I'm looking for one specific item. A hawk helm. And we can get it really any type. We can get a magical hawk helm. We can even get a rare one because we can just dump it back down to the regular with the oil of, uh, I think it's just called the oil of, it's like a reset oil? I don't know. I forget what it's called. See, now we have blight fire in here. And he's flinging banshees at my face. I actually don't know all the skills the enemies are using in this game because they get complicated. Tear rune. Healing potion. Healing potion. Tear rune. So is- oops. And like I said, you can tear up like all these things- see how it says Pax Mystica 1 and Ilbis Gloves- Iblis Gloves 1, it goes up to 4. And you can level them up by using arcane crystals as well. So the whole crafting system lets you just slowly level up your gear, and it's fun. Once I get my poison dudes at level 24, I will have a little more meat shield. Let's just make sure I have enough strength. Oh, yes, I need strength for my helmet too, so I gotta be careful that I have enough for that probably make this stuff now, but I'm not supposed to have as many arcane crystals as I do in my inventory. You can pass them over to other characters. Um, there are no... You don't have the Pluggy, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Puggy. Uh, if you've ever used that mod where you, all your stashes are shared, there's no shared stash, but you have huge inventory space, and you can make a mule and transfer stuff over to them, just like in the old days. Back uh, when that's what we did. But you can... You can open two instances of the game and do uh, like a LAN game and transfer stuff that way, but usually you don't. Usually you stay on one thing, because even if you find something amazing, it's usually- whoa, it's usually very end game that you do. 
so it, like I like I said I've just been transferring this early stuff and that's it okay Man, a potion gothic plate great help I also need to pick up some stuff for my girl I put that to good use yes she needs boots and gloves even though I don't really need it but yeah with uh, the ranger, because she shoots, and the priestess really, because she shoots thousands of arrows, you want to give her as much as you can, like, this spell on attack, or this spell on kill, and she becomes hilarious, and she just explodes into a pincushion of death. Of death and arrows. Yay, we have almost all of the waypoints. I, I missed one in the jail, but I don't care. I'm not gonna always reveal the whole map, I just wanted to show that off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So close. What does Rain of Fire look like? I just wanna see it. Um. Do I need an enemy? Because it's not doing anything. Let me get an enemy on here. Oh. Okay. It's like a localized fire wave. I guess we can use that now instead, but I, I like the Banshee. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I usually have the sight on in the background. It's very, very, very helpful to use the sight. And the other reason I wanted to use the druid so much, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of skill switching that the druid's going to be doing, and while I'm okay at skill switching, I just wanted a nice, relaxing poison vine tentacle playthrough, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming for you, Andariel. There she is down there. Let's put a safety TP down. And let's put up Mark of the Wild on our boys. Get in here! Thank you. Okay. Whee. Someone's using corpse explosion and it's not- oh no, that is me. <laughs> yeah, she- she has a skill- there it is, where she summons meteors over the whole room. Uh, and it hurts. But you can see it coming. I don't know if she's weak to fire like she was in the original game. Cause she was like very poison-esque in the original- ooh, a rare jewel. But she's using fire like crazy right now. I got poisoned. Alright, so she- ooh. Yep, there's spikes everywhere. I'm gonna wait for the screen to stop shaking before I explain that and get some gold. This is one of the first places you can go that where you get a lot of gold because it's just around her throne room. So, so if you go over here, I get one unique item, a rune, a gem, who cares right now. But you get the Catalyst of Disenchantment, this is how you disenchant. Put the Catalyst of Disenchantment in, you can put any number of, I think you can put up to ten. This is a paladin-only weapon, and boom, I get a shard, I need five shards for a crystal. It's almost exciting. Just checking that amulet. We can drop this. I got a rare ring. Pop that on. I think she can wear this amulet. Yes. Okay. No boots or anything. I'm saddened. No hawk helm. Though I can just buy one. I think I'm gonna do that in the next area. Give me your gold. I love her throne. It's so creepy. Okay. 
Actually, we'll buy one now. I will show off crafting. And Dar yes, and Dario's death. If you haven't played Diablo 2 and heard those a thousand times, then you, you're very confused. Oh. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna sell a Hawk Helm. Is it just Hawk Helm? Yes. Okay, it's not the... But this guy gambles and you can see. There's a lot, so I'm just gonna keep. I should have enough. There's a wolf helm. Oh yeah, I definitely have enough. But I need it to... Oop, nope, that's a falcon mask. That's what I meant, there's like two of them. And then... Oh, there it is. Hawk helm. And I did get a rare one, but it's not going to be as good. So we're... Oops. Geed is the one who sells... Oh, it's oil of renewal, I just remembered. So oil of renewal. And I think I need an oil of craft. And I go... Yeah, they make snaky sounds. You probably can't hear that. Eh. So... It takes three, I think, arcane crystals to make a new unique item. So you do need a lot of uniques. So first we're going to put this in here with the oil of renewal and make it a base item. It doesn't matter if it's superior or socketed or not. Then you put in three arcane crystals. I don't know if I need the oil of craft. Yes, I do. And the oil of craft. What am I doing wrong? Is it five? Well, that's why there's this site, because you can scroll up and look at the cube recipes. And this is how you learn. I, I can't believe I forgot how to do this. Reroll any oh, oil of enhancement. It's oil of enhancement. But yeah, see? Learning. I haven't played this game in a while, so I forgot. <laughs> and it's just two arcane crystals, so that's good. We'll sell this oil of... Oh no, it's in the other thing. Oil of enhancement. Two arcane crystals. Oil of enhancement. So you need money. Bam! Earth Song. Gives me cast speed. Fire. Cars level 4. I wonder if I upgrade it once more. You upgrade it once more, I think, just adding a crystal? Yes. Ah, level 22. I can't wear it yet. Wear it, like, in the next level. But it ups everything. So it gives me three resistances, mana after each kill, and it's gonna up my poison and cold spell damage. Sweet! Yep, next level I can wear that and get rid of this weird speed thing. Alright, let's cross the, the plains. Wharves down here. Worry of... Nope, we're good. <laughs> Hello. You have. Yes, I know. I already have the cube, so he's like, oh, I'm impressed. Ooh, I can use this soon, too. Good, good, good. And I can get my new mercenary, but not yet. Eh, maybe yet. Yeah, we'll wait until we're, like, level 20-ish. I don't expect... Let's go kill Redmond! I always take this door. I probably shouldn't. Eh, get in there. Because if I remember, it's just around the corner. Oh, jeez. So down here, there's these guys called pests. No, no. Not those guys. There's a guys called the pack. And the pack are a bunch of tiny wolves. And there's, like, millions of them. And you, I think you have to kill all of them for, like, the mob to be truly dead. I love them. They're, they're funny. Oopsie. Leveled up. Now I can use my helmet. Bam. Now we have regular stuff. Oh, I can disenchant this too. Boop. And so you can combine shards, so now this is a pile of two shards. <gasps> Math is amazing. The pests throw those bombs if you see them exploding. There's so many skills going off that I can't even, like, explain them all. Now we're looking for regular gloves and a regular belt. And boots... I guess we can get boots, too. But that's not as important. 
Oh, I found it. It's either to the left or the right of that entrance. I don't speedrun Diablo 2, but it's got similar map generation to this, somewhat. So I know some- I've watched some speedruns, so I know some of the map tricks, but no, I'm not an expert. I bet it should be fun to speedrun this game. Maybe not the full extent. Yeah, heal me. But see, I didn't reveal the map, so now we're actually truly exploring. Longbow. Longbow. What is with all the bows? Jewel. I'll take that. Like I said, jewels are used in crafting. I look cool with my weird-ass hawk helm. Blade, sword... And we need belt, boots, and gloves. And surprisingly, that stuff doesn't drop that often. Oh, one more level and I can summon my poison boys! My poison boys. I think they get more life from... Yup, they get more life if I level up Harvest. Alright, easy there, guys. I'm trying to level up. Ooh, skill shrine. Oh. Hey, I found the waypoint that I'll never use. Well, maybe I will. Maybe. I think they also... The maker shrunk this way down, too. So it's not just sprawling. I'm not really picking up gems until I get perfect, since... <sighs> I mean, I could put some diamonds in here, and I think I will, but right now... And you can also... Un I'm looking at specific gems, because the emerald isn't a specific gem I want. Neither is really this. And you can't sell these. But you can unsocket stuff at any time. I never got how in Diablo 2 you couldn't unsocket. I think you can now, but it takes... A lot of stuff. I actually don't know. Or you can socket your own items with something. Jeez, I haven't played the original Diablo 2 in a while. But I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the, the remake. I'm excited about that. Somewhat. I'm kind of also scared that they're gonna really mess up the multiplayer, which I'm looking so forward to. Definitely not gonna pre-order it. Now I'm twice as skillful. Ooh, we're in. I die so much in this game because I'm like, oh, look at that, and I run over to pick it up, and there's like thousands of enemies there. I'm so smart. Gotta kill everything. Giant spiders. Imagine going down to the sewers, and there's giant spiders everywhere. Yeah, the plus one to mana after each kill is really useful. We can summon our dudes! Let's go over here and we can get harvesters. Okay. Yeah, my guy's just whacking away. I get one harvester. There he is. He's a weird old zergling. Okay. He casts Harvest too, so he can heal himself. And my poison skills level him up, and my minion resistance levels him up. No, I get- every minion resistance I get more poison damage. And, to top it all off, he gives me movement speed, so now we're moving, we're trucking along. I feel so much stronger now. You should probably get the Resist Poison Shrine. By this point, you should be doing Mythic Orbs and crafting your stuff, because you can farm uniques now, and at least getting Rune Words. 
and mystic orbing uh, basically resist for this guy like normal it's like resistances what else elemental resistance basically whatever your damage is oh here's the pack I didn't even see him before You need uh, whatever your damage is, so I'd be going for minion resistance because that increases my poison and helps my dude. I'd be going for poison damage, lower enemy poison damage. Whoop. Look at them all. Look at them all. Probably should just stick to one poison skill, but we'll see. And, uh, that's pretty much it at the beginning. You just go for whatever element you're using, or if you're using a weapon with a weapon skill, like plus strength and all that. Ooh, I can summon two now. Friends. I might just go pure poison and then eventually switch to the Banshee, because I like- I think you get multiple ones eventually. You can shoot out like four at the same time. But that's way later. Oh, I sense her adamant. Not just because this thing showed up, but I think this is the only place he can be. I keep, in the habit of Diablo 2, I keep feeling like I need to have two elements at least, because... Oh, there he is. He knows Thunderstone, because that's what that Thunderstone was. Still gives you a book of skill. Doesn't drop the Herodric Scroll anymore. Or does this? Nope, just some sweet, sweet gold. And he dead. Did anything drop? Rodiment, return to dust. Okay, easy there. I know you're dramatic, but easy there. Let's talk to the angry- oh wait, we'll get our uh, new dude too. Look at these little sp- Spindly bastards, I love them. Hello. Okay, so... Ooh, see, I can use this. We got a lot to do. We got... Uh, we're gonna put diamonds in it. Diamonds give me spell damage, so one. Two. Three. I'm gonna keep Pax Mystica on my off, though, because Blink is useful in some areas just to run away. The downside with rumors is you can't actually put any uh, <laughs> uh, gems in it, but that, that'll help. Now I got plus two to all skills, full character defense, I like. Keep that bow. Okay, let's let the mercenary eat my current one. We're going to get a shapeshifter. I bet you wonder how he is, vi there's shapeshifter, exemplar, and I think a fighter mage. Nope, that's it. Yeah, fighter mage. Um, the shapeshifter is a very, very good tank. The other two I'm not too sure on. I just want a very good tank. And he also, I think, casts Bloodlust like I can. So I'm just going to use him for now. Actually, let's go to the website. Mercenaries. And check out Mercenaries. Okay, so we got the Exemplar. Oh, let's see what they get. They get energy, crushing blow, ooh. Damage reduced by 25. See, they're all tanks. And fighter mage gets, okay, they get cold and fire. Damage, cool, cool. They can equip paladin weapons. So the exemplar gets dragon heart, which just uh, does him. Lifeblood, which just heals him and retaliate, which uh, he damages with a shockwave, so he's kind of like a, a redemption paladin. There are super skills, but I'm not looking at those right now. Then the werebear, or the shapeshifter gets werebear, turns into a werebear, claw tornado, bloodlust, and pounce, which is all very useful. And the fighter mage pretty much gets paladin skills, because bloodthorns and glacial nova. Yeah, I'm gonna get the shapeshifter as a tank. We're gonna get Wahid. Wahid, are you ready to get equipped? I got some uh, uniques that I had in my other characters just in their stash. I have like a good uh, boots for him that add just defense and such. Uh, sort of a melee helmet that adds a bunch of HP. 
this amulet from before. He's going to take a car's robe again. I forgot to use the skill book. And we're going to go see if he can use one of these spears. Shark or Sea Summoner. See, he can chance to cast a Glacial Nova on melee attack. And we could probably put Skulls in there to make it tougher. Which one is better? Definitely that one. Very cool. So that's pretty much it for now. Next time we'll craft some gloves. We'll figure out maybe some gloves for this guy and a belt. Because I haven't really figured out anything for my mercenary. Just try and find some melee stuff. And we'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll craft a belt and some gloves for us too. We need belts and gloves, basically. I know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!